Hey, what's up everybody? Abbas here from Goldo Motor. Today I'm gonna be doing a review on this beauty right here. This is the City Venture by Van Power Bikes. So at first glance, this doesn't even look like an electric bike, which is pretty cool. It's a nice, clean electric bike. The battery is integrated into the down tube. It's a 36 volt battery. Um, it has a range of 50 to 80 miles and it has all pedal assist, so no throttle. So this is a class one e-bike. And the display is also integrated into the handlebar. So that's pretty cool. It's a nice clean bike. It has a 350 watt motor. If you're in the US, if you get this in the UK, it is a 250 watt motor. And nice feature about this bike, which makes this bike super silent, is that it has a carbon belt drive from Gates. That's really cool components right there. So this bike has Tectoro hydraulic disc brakes. Plenty of stopping power for this bike. Good components. It has a color display. Has it comes with a three button pin pad. And it has five assist levels. So one is eco and it's color coded. So that's pretty cool. Uh, two is normal. Three is tour. Four is power and five is boost. So this bike comes with hybrid tires, perfect setup for urban commuting. It's a super light bike. It comes in five color options. The price point on this bike is $1,700 if you're in the US. Uh, you can save $70 on shipping if you get the built-it-yourself bike. So it comes in a nice compact box. Um, it comes with really good instructions. Every single part is numbered, as you can see on the frame. Uh, it took me about three to four hours to build it, but then you save $70 on shipping, or you have the option to get the one that comes 95% built. So this bike comes in one size. It's ideal for riders that are between five feet, eight inches and six feet, three inches. It has a nice adjustable saddle right here. And it has an option for which I liked was another battery. So if you run out of your primary battery, you can put a battery that is shaped like a water bottle and then automatically will switch to the second battery. I thought that was a pretty cool option. Uh, the charging port is right here. It comes with a quick two hour charger. Now I'm gonna take this bike out for a ride and show you some riding footage on this. So this bike is super smooth. Right now I'm cruising on pedal assist two and I'm hitting 10.7 miles, but it's a comfortable pace. It's a perfect urban commuter bike. I feel like I need to have a backpack on right now. And I don't know if you guys can pick up that on the mic. I have the mic right here. You cannot hear this bike because of the belt drive. It is a very quiet e-bike. You can't even tell us it's an e-bike. I thought the CYC Photon was quiet, but this bike is super quiet. Okay, so now I'm riding on no pedal assist. It's fairly smooth, but I guess one of the downsides of this bike is there's no gearing on here. So if you like gearing, but the pedal assist makes up for it. So if I'm in pedal assist one, then it's almost like changing a gear. It's a very comfortable, on two is very comfortable. I can go a long distance on here. This bike is super light. It's 34 pounds. That's very light for a e-bike and it comes with nice tires. So it has 700C Kenda tires. So it'll last me a long time. Let me go on pedal assist three. Let's see how fast I can go on a comfortable pace. I'm up to 14 miles per hour on pedal assist three. Very comfortable pedaling. So it's customary for us at Golden Motor to push every bike to the limit. So I'm gonna take all of this 250 watt motor and I'm gonna see what I can push the limit on this. And I'm gonna tell you the top speed on every pedal assist that I get on it. So let me do that right now. This bike has nice stopping power. So on pedal assist five, I got about 21 miles per hour. So on the website, it says about maximum 25. But again, just to be fair to them, um, I have, uh, it's not fully charged the battery and I was coming up wind. So yeah, I can see it going about 24, 25 miles per hour. On pedal assist four, I got about between 16 to 18 miles per hour. And on pedal assist one, I got about 10 to 11. 
It's a very comfortable pace, but again, this bike is not meant to be a racing bike. It's a nice uh, urban commuter. I just wish uh, Wen Powers gave like a backpack with this bike. All right, guys, so that's it for this review. This is the City Venture by Van Power Bikes. If you're interested in getting this bike, I'll put the link in the description below. Thanks again for Van Power Bikes for hooking us with this bike. Honestly, for the price point and the components that you get in this bike, um, I would get this bike for myself. Until next time, see you guys later.